how to install TLP on Ubuntu 22.04 let's get started okay here's my here's my uh, Ubuntu 2204 installation jammy jellyfish now let's take a look at some of the documentation real quick about what TLP is you can read here TLP is a feature rich command line utility for Linux saving laptop battery power without the need to develop to delve deeper into technical details so you get an idea here TLP's default settings are already optimized for battery life so you may just install and forget it that's great you don't gotta tinker around or make adjustments or choose between you know uh, you know whether it's going to be per performing well or, or saving power or anything. That's really good. Hopefully, it'll probably be something in the middle. Like it'll be, it, it'll be per perform it without being a drag on your uh, on your battery. Somewhere in the middle, I would guess. Nevertheless, TLP is highly customizable to fulfill your specific requirements. Okay, now we don't need to get into all the other. We'll just go right, in, right into the, uh, you can read this on your, on your own later. Now you can find it, now actually I, on Ubuntu I couldn't find it. So this is not really an option then, right? As you can see I did a TLP search here and this came up. That's not it I don't think. Now there might be other stores that you could try on Ubuntu, I don't know. But this is the main one, Ubuntu software. And it's not there. Ubuntu software. Couldn't find it there. Okay. So we'll go to the APT. We'll look for it there. And this is what I this is what I did for, to see if it was installed. It wasn't. And I'm pretty sure this TLP is what we're looking for. But this is kind of, you know, boring. It's too easy. I mean, anybody can type this in. There's no challenge. Um... And uh, their version from the Ubuntu repositories might be a little bit behind the version of the TLP PPA, which I don't think in this case it's not. They're both 1.5, but you never know. That maybe the version from the, uh, the, the the TLP PPA might actually have more functionality. I don't know. But if you just want to just challenge yourself without a simple command or you know a simple click. To you know, to install something in you know in a GUI store like that, and you want to kind of get a little bit deeper into some terminal commands and repo lists and source lists and uh, PPAs and all that kind of stuff, then this is then this is for you. So let's get started here. Okay, so we're going to install it in the terminal. We're not going to use the APT. We're going to use a. We're going to add a PPA, which is a personal, uh, a personal package archive, and we're going to add that. In other words, I, I I believe that means it's not necessarily officially supported by Ubuntu or Canonical or APT or whatever. Kind of a third party, so you can kind of expand the capabilities of your Ubuntu installation without necessarily relying on what Ubuntu does or doesn't do. Okay, so we're going to go to the terminal here, and we're going to type in some, we're going to add that package repository. It is the, the TLP, and I don't really know what TLP stands for, to be honest, but we're going to add, we're going to add the TLP PPA to our package source with this, with this command. So we go sudo, and we're going to do add. We're going to add apt repository. I did the, I did a, a tab on that, so it auto completed. So you know it's familiar with this, with this command syntax right here. sudo add apt repository. Okay, then space. I'm, let's see if PPA, PPA doesn't seem to auto complete, so we have to kind of key that in manually. And then it'll. This is the rest of the. Uh, the command here, URL, I guess. TLP. Okay, this will add it to the APT cache.
Power management tool. Okay, we know all that. That's their home page there. Okay, do I want to do I want to continue? Yes, enter. And you can see here and you can go off, later you can go into your sources list either in the, in the in the terminal or somewhere in your uh, software and update uh, control panel here and you can see the actual or maybe I'll just show it to you when I'm done real quick although you can see it here uh, let's see well let's find it here what did we just add okay like we added a couple things here PPA launch pad this Lin runner here this one so it's like about three different versions I guess or three different repos for it to pull from maybe even a fourth one here so you can see right here okay so that was installed I mean actually the, the, the repo was installed okay now we're gonna update we're gonna do a standard APT update and APT upgrade so it actually like you know it pulls it into the actual before the, the first step was just kind of installing it into into a list I guess and then the second one actually pulls it into the APT machinery so it can actually pull from those repos and install based upon whatever based upon your your command so we added that you know we added the TLP PPA that's good and then one more last step here and we're gonna install the package now now we can just do the standard APT package uh, the standard APT install command except this time it's not it's not pulling it from the Ubuntu repos it's pulling it from that TLP uh, PPA that we that we installed now how close they are to each other as far as versioning and capabilities well that's something you're going to have to look into I did look up that it's the same version now whether it's got the same functionality or not I don't know that I don't know but if you just want to have some fun and kind of get into some of the inner workings of repos repo lists you know PPAs and whatnot this is this is this is a good exercise in, in that okay uh, you can see here actually it looks like it's actually gonna install some extra ones maybe here that you wouldn't get if you just did the straight APT uh, command from you know from the Ubuntu repositories so something in here is probably something other extra that, that the Ubuntu repos probably don't have which is good if you can get some extra bang for your buck that's always a good deal right extra capability functionality Okay, so we're going to go yes on that. <coughs> Wait for it to install here. Okay, good. Now this is the command line utility. So I don't believe we're going to find anything in the... We're not going to find anything in the application folder. Now we'll call it here because it'll already put it on the... On the it'll put the binary on the path already. And there's no, uh, there's no, I don't see um, a flag that you can pass in, like a V flag, where you can see the the, uh, the version. I don't see that there, but you can see it's been installed, and you just have to look, look through the documentation here on how to actually use it. So I haven't used it myself. So that's installed there, and like I said, you can, you can uh, try to find it in the application and I would not expect to find it here and I don't see it yet I don't see it I don't see it TLP TLP not here okay good yeah so it's only usable here in the terminal and you can uh, you can if you want to find out what your what if you want to if you want to go and, and look at the, uh, the the repo URL that we just installed, you can go here, and it should be one of these tabs here. The poke around, I do believe it should be in here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. And the, you can also look into your file into your uh, your file system and try to. I'm, 
like whatever the the text file might be in there, Etsy, System D, APT, Resource. I forgot exactly which what the the path was, but you can see here, right here, this one here, this one this one's not selected, so it's not pulling from that. I don't know if I should enable that source code. I'm not sure that probably I think I think when you see source code like this in, in, by in a repo. I think it's it's just literally doing what it says it's going to do. It's going to pull in source code for you to compile, I guess. Otherwise, if you just want something pre-compiled, maybe uh, steer clear of the uh, the source code the version. We can see this is what we installed right here, and that wasn't there before. Now it is. So now the TLP will be installed from their own, for right from the source, the TLP PPA, right from the source of the vendor. Okay, thank you.